time with Audrey. The story, oh my gosh. We are so happy right now because yes. we are finally getting out of Takayama. Yeah. Like, th there was so much rain these last few days that they canceled all the buses, all the trains. Yeah. And we've been trying for a while now, like coming to the bus terminal. Are we going today? Yeah. Are we going today? So many of the buses have been canceled. Oh. The, hi the highway had been shut down. Yeah. And in the last hour, like, what did you call this? The 23rd hour? Oh. The 11th hour, they had told us, oh no. It's gonna be canceled. And yeah. just as we were gonna get a book a hotel to stay in Takayama, they came running. They came and running like, over the like, highway no, is open. It's open. Our bus goes. It's running. And we so can't leave. we're leaving oh. in ten minutes. We haven't yeah. we haven't grabbed dinner or anything like that. We're just so happy to be going there. We already had a, a reservation in Kyoto with an Airbnb. Oh, and so man. everything's on schedule. Okay. I ran over to the family mart and <laughs> for dinner, dinner, dinner yeah. on a bus. You today. I'll show you what. Every, we each get one. Sam is so hyper, he can barely speak. Chips. We have chips. Yes. We have sushi. We have our own sushi. Mm -hmm. Salmon. Mm -hmm. And Snickers. Mm -hmm. And mango flavored something. Wow. Extra fresh. Mitsuya. Wow, well thank you. Welcome. I barely made it, but yeah, we got something to eat. Alright, dinner time. This is a family mart dinner. Yep. Thank you very much, Sam. Very generous of you to run over. Run out there I'm still sweating from it. Yes, with a few minutes. They haven't turned on the AC yet. So yeah, looks like regular potato chips. We have some sushi with salmon. You've got yeah. it with the skin, grilled skin, no skin. So yeah, we're just really going to dig on in. Let's start with the chips. I'm just so tired. It's been like it's a pretty crazy day. Highs and lows. Are we staying? Are we leaving? Are we staying? Are we leaving? Yeah, we ended up doing a day trip. Yeah. To see if we could get the later bus, which oh, hadn't yet been cancelled. Oh, this is this good? Pepper. So I think we're gonna arrive at about 10 something in Kyoto. I and they um, look at our tickets and they kept our tickets. So we'll get there when we get there. Get there when we get there. <laughs> at least we're getting there. <laughs> at least we're getting there tonight. I'm still in disbelief, guys, that we're actually going. We were, we were we were like mere moments away from booking a hotel here. Yeah. Because the other option where we could have done more backtracking would have involved a uh, bus and a train and it would have been like three times the cost. Yeah. We actually figured, did the math and it would have been cheaper for us to just stay the night in a budget hotel. Yeah. On the last minute deal. But anyways, having sushi, sushi time. Ooh, the engine's on. The engine's I think on. we're going to be on the move soon. It's 4.50. And the AC is blasting. Excellent. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, this is awesome. Good family mart sushi. Good family mart sushi. Wonderful. Now this is the biggest collection of vending machines I have seen in one spot. This is at a rest stop here. And check this out. They have all kinds of different things. This one is just purely for coffee. Over here, more coffee, if you can believe it. And if there wasn't enough coffee to begin with, another vending machine section with only coffee. So Sam was just admiring a collection of vending machines here at the rest stop. I've never seen so many in a row. There are six in a row. Six in Three a row? Three of them are just dedicated for coffee, if you can believe wow. it. Wow. That's pretty quirky. Anyways. Anyways <laughs> that first part of the drive was incredibly scenic. It was even nicer than the last bus ride we had. Like, it's just amazing going through these different rural sections, going through mountains. I think what I'm most impressed about is just like, how incredible the engineering is in Japan. Yeah, so many tunnels. The tunnels, the, the, the bridges. Highs. I'm just still in awe that we got on this bus, to be honest. Yeah, and we just have a short little stop, yeah. 15 minutes. Not even out. now, so we'll have about 10. Maybe we'll go in here and take a look.
stop before we reach Kyoto, so this is pretty exciting. We're making a really good time. I think we're gonna arrive there a lot earlier than we had imagined. Maybe yes. we read the time wrong on our ticket. I think we did. We no longer have the ticket, so we're just kind of along for the ride. Yeah. But anyways, there's a shop in the back. Sam's feeling like he needs a snack again. A little again. peckish. I, I don't feel so, like I've had anything substantial to eat yeah, today. Yeah, so. we've got another 10 minutes to peruse and grab a quick little bite. You know what? I think I just got myself box sushi. I mean, look at the fish. And oh. apparently, the sign said it was going to be 800 yen. And when I went to pay, it was only 400. So Ooh, literally, half end of off. day discount. Half off. Cha ching, you ching. Yeah, like I knew they did this in the grocery stores, but I had no idea they did it on like, in, like, like a road store. Convenience stop. store. <laughs> a convenience store at a, at, a, at a truck stop. Which, by the oh. way, has a lot of transport. Okay, let's take a look and see if, if it is. How's it look? Whoa! Ooh, let's see, let's see. Look at that. Ooh. Okay, interesting. Interesting, there's eight pieces, so. Okay. Yeah, it's a pretty Enjoy good price. Enjoy all I yours. Will. I will. And now it's time to find our bus. As you can see, the parking lot is just full of trucks who are spending it's the like night here. like a haystack because there's all these other big semi trucks. We're the only bus that yeah. I can see. Check that out. There we go. No wasabi, no soy sauce. This is something I have no idea what I'm having because it's actually not sushi. I think this is a big block of rice. Mm. And they give me a carving knife. So like the, the fish has obviously been sliced where I'm supposed to carve the rice. Well, I have to do my own work. You have fun with that. No soy sauce, no wasabi. I'm not thrilled. I know, it didn't look too appetizing to me when you were like, want some? I'm thinking, it's nope. It's like poor man's sushi or something. That's dinner on the road. We have a surprise. We made it. What's we made the surprise? It. We just the surprise made it. We made is that we made it much earlier than we had anticipated. Yeah, we got here at 9.15. For some weird reason, we thought we were going to arrive past 10. It was going to be... I thought it might be 11, <laughs> so this yeah. is very pleasant. I don't know I'm how we got so screwed up. To the internet, so did. I have a map. Um, but yeah, we just have to take the metro one stop, yeah. and then we can walk to our place. Yeah. Carrying around garbage, because as always, it's like nearly impossible yeah. to find a garbage cannon anywhere in Japan, yeah. really. Update. Not thrilled about this, but we are walking. <laughs> we couldn't figure it out. Like, we only need to go one stop. But again, we've got the whole dilemma. JR lines, subway lines, you know different what? lines, cars. We've been out in the sun all day. Our, our brains oh, just aren't functioning. Oh my god. And so we're like, it's only a kilometer and a half. We're just going to yeah. leg it. And like, all the information booths yeah. at the metro station have closed for the day. So we spent so. The, mo the money that we would have... Got on a ticket oh. on a suntory. suntory sparkling. I think we're a third of the way there, and I'm like oh drenched. I am so I'm drenched, right in now. I'm drenched in sweat. I'm drenched in sweat. It's a little bit gross how much sweat I have on my body at the moment. I'm just a little disappointed that after like almost two months here, we still can't figure out how to ride the metro slash train slash well, JR. We what just, is this? There's just so many lines, and oh. it's we're we're exhausted. Yeah. I'll give us a I'll give us a pass on this one. Yeah. Well, good, good morning, morning guys. from Kyoto. Yeah. Um, we just fell asleep last night. Like we we were, we were so hot and tired from that walk. We dropped off our bags and basically collapsed. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna so. finish off that little travel day vlog today. Yep. So basically, we're heading out for breakfast now. We're gonna try to find a coffee shop. Yeah. And then when we come back, we'll give you a little tour a little of the apartment. A little tour apartments. of our apartment. And we'll let you know the price of the bus finally. Too. Oh yeah, we haven't even mentioned that. So breakfast has arrived at the table. 
definitely unusual. This isn't what I, what I would normally consider breakfast food. Mm -hmm. So this is called a Danish pastry. Yeah. And it has soft serve ice cream in the middle. Oh, it's ice cream. I thought mm -hmm. it was, I thought it was mm -hmm. whipped cream. Oh, wow. It was ice cream. Oh, wow. And yeah, this is what the pastry <laughs> looks like. We're starting off on a sugary high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait till you see yeah. what I've got. I've got toast. With, with butter. With this, the red azuki beans. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's a very thick piece of yeah. slab of toast. I know, instead of jam, yeah. like you put the beans on Put the on bean paste toast. on. And then I also got an iced coffee that has the, the sweet red beans as well, the azuki beans at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, an interesting breakfast. And I think the, the atmosphere in this coffee place is pretty cool. Like you were saying, it kind of reminded you of like a, a, a Swiss chalet, chalet back in Canada or something. It's really nice in here. Good look, guys. All about Let's the beans it. this morning. Red bean paste. Yeah, I can tell you this is the first time I've ever used beans as a spread on yeah. toast. I mean, I've had like salty, like canned oh, yeah, beans kind, with yeah. British breakfast. That's pretty tasty. Mmm. You know what? That actually works. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm gonna pour in this is the syrup. Syrup. Give it a stir. I'm curious to see oh, what wow, that's coffee. Super thick at the bottom. What coffee it and is, beans taste like? It reminds me of the bubble tea or something. Mm. Can you actually get the beans mm. through the straw? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so good. I didn't need to put all that syrup in there. It's like a, it's more like a, a milkshake or a dessert at this point. Mm. Hello. Hello, and we promised an apartment tour, so we're gonna give that to you right now. Yes. So this is a very small space, but there's all these different little compartments and components to it. There's like all these doors, but so we are in the middle. Of it. We just walked shoes. in. So come on so in. So this is where you leave your shoes. Yep. Step on to the wood, wooden floors. So let's show you this tiny kitchen. Okay. So up here, we have Audrey's peanut butter. Yes. She's been, how long has that lasted? Like oh, a few weeks I'd now? say over a week, two weeks, we I don't honey. know. A very small amount of dishes. Small little kitchen little here. Sink. We haven't used anything on here. Uh, look down there and you actually have a microwave on top of the fridge. Tiny little fridge. Which is pretty funny. We can Tiny barely fridge. open it, so yeah. <laughs> that's that. Let's go into the bathroom. Okay. So the ba Oh, the bathroom's been divided into two. Yes. So look, ta-da! That's you have the your toilet Japanese toilet. Section. And then in here, which I, I, I kind of really like this Japanese style because you know what's annoying? If someone's taking a shower, they block access to the toilet. Mm -hmm. Here? No. Not you an issue. To, you can, we can both be using it potentially. So come on in, this is a wet bathroom. Yep, floor is wet right now. Yeah, and for a shower head that's this tiny, it actually has like tremendous water pressure. It's another one of those Japanese systems where you turn it like this for the sink, you flip it over for the shower, and then it starts coming out of here. It's really small. Basically, there's no curtain. No, it everything everywhere. gets sprayed. Everything gets sprayed, yep. And this is the coolest room. Come over here, guys. Check this out. This is our work slash dining area. Dining living space. Check that out. This is where Office we, space. We eat here, and this is also our office. It's convertible. We just take basically take the computers off, and that's where we have our meals as well. Yeah, and also if it's four people renting this apartment, they put yes. futons in this room for yeah, two more right. people. Last but not least, we have our bedroom. Oh, it's nice and air conditioned in here. Check out the air conditioning. And the best part, guys, by far, is the bed. We've had some uncomfortable beds recently, and this is like a dream. It's like a pillow. It's so soft. We normally you just prefer, sink into it. Yeah, we normally prefer harder beds, but this is so soft and comfortable. I could actually fall asleep right now. So All right, so I guess that concludes the tour <laughs> that then. That sure does, and I may just fall asleep at the moment, so we will, we will see you guys in the next oh, video. Oh, wait a second. No, what? we can't end the video because we promised people prices. How did we get from Takayama to Kyoto oh, by bus? of course, by prices. That by was bus. the equivalent yes. of $40 per person. 40 US dollars per person. Consider taking the bus in Japan, guys. That's a definite budget travel tip from us. Okay, and now you can now say goodbye and have your siesta. Sleep. Bye guys, see you Bye. soon.